Hello, my name is Christine Dowell, and I'm a park ranger here at West Point Lake for the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. It is the month of May, and the summer season is upon us. Visitors are coming out to swim, fish, boat, kayak, and camp as the weather warms up. May is also National Water Safety Month, and since the Corps of Engineers is the nation's leading provider of water-based recreation, water safety is an important mission of the agency. So whether you're swimming, boating, fishing, or doing any activity in or near the water, it is very important to wear a life jacket. I'm going to share a few tips so you can make your lake experience fun, enjoyable, and safe. A life jacket is also known as a PFD, or a personal flotation device. I'm going to show you how to select and inspect a PFD for your activity. Everyone is required to have a U.S. Coast Guard approved PFD for every person on their boat. However, a life jacket will not work if you don't wear it. Even the best swimmers can experience crises in the water, such as injury, incapacitation, and disorientation, which can jeopardize their safety. A life jacket will keep you afloat so that you can be rescued and return safely to your family. Here's how to choose the best life jacket for your water activity. There are many types of life jackets, but they don't all work in the same way. Life jackets are rated based on their performance levels. Type 1. This is an offshore life jacket. It is meant for offshore water activities where quick rescue isn't likely. It is designed to flip the wearer so that he or she is facing up out of the water. It has head support to help with that. Type 2 is designed for inland waters. It is a popular type. It is also designed to flip the wearer face up out of the water. Type 3 is a popular choice for swimming, boating, fishing, or any other on the water activity. Type 4 is a throwable PFD. Type 5 is an inflatable PFD. It is designed to inflate when underwater. Next, read the size and weight requirements. Each PFD has a label that tells the size and weight requirements for wear. Next, ensure that the life jacket is in good condition. Look for rips and tears. If the life jacket has rips, tears, or missing buckles, do not wear. Now, check for proper fit. Make sure that all the zippers and buckles close. If they don't, then it's too small. If the life jacket raises over the head of the wearer, then it's too big. A life jacket must be comfortable to wear and permits proper breathing. Finally, wear it. A life jacket won't work unless you wear it. So, it is important to choose a life jacket that you will wear. Remember, a life jacket worn, nobody mourns. <laughs>